a Goblin King OTK combo video. Uh, somebody commented on one of the Goblin King decks uh, and wanted to. It's funny because he said he'll subscribe if I explain how the combo works. I actually suggested that why doesn't he try out the deck and you know read the read the cards. You know, I mean the cards pretty much explain explain what they do, but nonetheless I gave him a link to where he can see the Goblin King OTK in action. So that that should help him out. Um, but I'm also gonna make this video since it is a com you know combo and it is an OTK so it fits my Yu-Gi-Oh combo video format. So since it is an OTK you know I can show you the OTK. Um but I will explain something else first. Uh, obviously, uh, I play the Dust Unlock with my Goblin Kings. And the Seal of Ori uh, has a ruling where if all the monsters in your side field have the same attack, your opponent can't declare an attack on them. Um, because you can only attack the strongest. And since there is no monster in your side field that is the strongest among the other monsters that's on, the, on your side of the field, he cannot declare an attack. You can only attack the strongest, and that's the way the seal works, and that's the ruling board, and that's what I take advantage of. Since all the distance, um, Goblin King, and you know they all have zero attacks, even Battle Player has zero attack. Since all these monsters have zero attack, you know, and the field will give them 500 attack, but since they will all have the same attack, that creates a lock just by having all your monsters in attack mode. All right. So that's what the seals for. Plus, an extra 500 boost doesn't hurt, because then that means my house, my my dustins can deal some battle damage. So that's always good. Plus, my dustins can destroy, can destroy my opponent's dustins that are in an attack mode. So that helps deal some extra damage and get some effects off. All right. The first thing you want, obviously, is you want to be able to get house dustin onto the field. Have them die either by battle or destroyed by a card effect um, which is more preferred that way you don't lose life of course and then swarm the field with the dustins and of course you want to be able to get the goblin king on the field now this is um, achieved in one turn easily by using one for one but my thing is since there, you can only have one one for one in the deck and I'd rather run three that's why I don't even run the one copy I could run even though I do have space work, because I could take out the Monster Reborn from the decks and put in one for one. That way I would have a chance that if I ever draw one for one, I can do the OTK in one single turn, as opposed to doing two turns like I typically do. The point is, the combo gets done regardless. It just, why not do it in one turn, you know what I mean? So that's what people like. That's why they'll play one for one. I don't, but I have nothing against the card. I would definitely use it if it was at three, but since it's at one, I'm not, I'm not quick to use it. Since I really didn't, don't need it at the moment, I, the deck works just fine without it. But if you like to play one for one, go for it. You know, play the way you like to play. So obviously, you want to get house dust in the field. Now, my first move is typically I play the seal. I normal summon house dust in. And that's basically it. I might set some back row or something, but typically, this is my, 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 my first turn move. This is what I want to set up. I will like him in defense mode, but hey, it takes life points to take life points. So I summon him attack mode and my turn. My opponent somehow manages to get Alvis on the field and he attacks. Alright, so he attacks. And since I get a 500 boost, I'm only, I'm only taking 3500. Alright, so I take 3500, activate the effect. First off, you want to summon, since this is Dueling Network, you want to summon the ones you're going to give him onto your side field first and then give it to your opponent and then summon yours. So, you're summoning four on your side field. On his side of the field. And then you get yours. Alright. That and that and the house dust. There you go. Now your field 
field has monsters, his field has monsters. I can see he's pretty much locked. He only had he's only allowed to have the Albus on the field right now. Um, and then because all my monsters are in attack mode and the seal now have the same attack, he can't attack. Even though none of these monsters here, you know, have the power to run my monsters over anyway. But this creates a lock in case for some reason Obelisk is able to attack more than once. This will prevent a double attacking. Cause I ran in a scenario, I think, yeah, when somebody attacked with a BLS. I think it was BLS, right? BLS. And then of course I got my effect, brought out Dustin's, and then that's it, he couldn't attack again because my effect had to resolve, summoning all the monsters, and then he would be able to apply his effect. But since he can't attack them, he had to, end, he had to go in main phase two. And since he declared an attack, he can't use his effect to remove any of my Dustin's from play. So that allowed me to, my turn, summon Goblin King and run his, his um, well, OTK him. I didn't even need to attack his uh, BLS. I just attacked Red Dustin and OTK him because I had the seal and, you know, I had pretty much this field just like that, ran him over. As you can see, I can summon Goblin King on my turn and then run him over and OTK, which would be 9,000 points in that. All right, so obviously you want the house Dustin to get to destroyed and you fill up the field. Then it would be my turn, you know, like a summoning Alvin King, of course. Um, now, the thing is, I summon Alvin King to some of Alright, Alright, so then I can't do the OTK. So then instead, to avoid Alvin King getting Baylor, you can have this instead. Which, uh, I think he's a subscriber. If not, it was somebody who left a comment in one of my videos point out that I can use Stingy and Security instead of Shining Angel because I use Shining Angel to get me House Dustin and then the House Dustin gives me the Dustins and then I just hope to draw Goblin King but he pointed out that Stingy and Security can get, get me anything I want including Goblin King himself and I was like you're right I totally forgot about him and the cute thing is he looks like a Dustin he looks like Blue Dustin it also reminds me is that I'm still waiting for White Dustin and Blue Dustin so that that can be complete I would like White Dustin to be like Goblin King and gets a thousand for every Dustin on the field. Or Fiend. Hey. That's cool. Either way. Um, and then Blue Dustin to be like Stingin. Because you know a Stingin looks like a Blue Dustin. <laughs> looks like a blue colored Dustin. So it looks like a Blue Dustin. So that would be kind of cool. That way I wouldn't have to use a Goblin King and, and Stingin. Um, when I could use you know, the white and blue, white and blue, and have the whole entire dust in the deck. But anyway, back to the combo. Well, obviously, I could summon blah blah blah, attack, deal damage. But the potential of a veiler, you would prefer to use stingy and security instead. You into battle phase. I use, and for some reason, I can't battle phase. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm not even in a duel. Anyway, so. Stingy security, I have them attack Albus, so then that means that I take 3400 this time. I'm not just so I'll take 3400 this time. It's a pretty pricey price to pay, uh, you know, I'm barely alive, 1100, but at least I get the effect to summon a Goblin King from my deck during battle so he can't be bailed, so he'll be at full strength while in battle phase. I just summon the one from my hand instead of the deck. Alright, um, so Goblin King comes out of the deck onto the field. Now I can run over and attack Red Dustin. Since since there's four fiend types on the uh, not four, eight fiend types on the field other than Goblin King, that makes Goblin King 8,000. The, the seal makes him 85, and then because Red Dustin's ability of dealing the extra 500, that's 9,000 altogether right there. So that's 9,000 points of damage you'll potentially deal. And that is the OTK right there. Is you want to get House Dustin, Goblin King on the field, and that's it. You don't really need the seal. It's just the seal seals the deal, as I like to call it. I like to seal the deal, you know, where I can get a lot, especially if my opponent has more than one monster. I can't just guarantee that he's only going to have one monster. And then it's the fact that. You know, if he has more than one monster, I bring out a couple of Dustins, 
then he can just run them over and all that stuff so you know that's why I play the seal with house dust and then boom there you go you got a lock and then you go into you know whatever you got to go into and let's say you don't even have anything let's say you have some a whole bunch of spells and traps and house dust and the seal is like your best trick well you lock the field so that we can stall for the win so that works out regardless but uh, here's another little trick something I thought about when I was thinking of creating this video um, was the fact that uh, let's put this back to my hand the fact that it's like while the dust are face up they can't be tributed it does not include the house dustins because the house dustins themselves you know can be used for XYZ summon can be you know synchroed and all that other good stuff so in a strategy um, you can use the house dustin to get to to summon two house dustins to your side field plus another monster let's say a light uh, yellow dustin and then summon you know like three monsters and point side of field so now you got you got the lock and then you got three monsters in your side field and of course you can use the two um, house dustins to, to exceed summon into slacker magician which I have in the extra deck so you can you know give yourself an extra little bit of defense or something or since you have three monsters you can use book of eclipse or if you have two house dustins and a book of moon you can book of moon your yellow dustin you know like book of moon it set it face down and then you can use your two house dust house dust your two house dustins and your face down yellow dustin tribute to summon obelisk so that's the way you can tribute um your monsters your house your dustins for tribute something so this is the fastest way of getting monsters in the field and you can use Book of Moon in order to put them face down so you can use them as tributes. <coughs> you can also, you know, uh, well, I, I want to I wanna obviously use Obvious the Tormentor, you know what I mean? Who doesn't like the Egyptian gods? But um, strategically, you can use East King Barbaros because the idea here is you use Book of Eclipse, which will cause you to set you know all your monsters and your opponent sets all these monsters so all the monsters will be face down now since they're all face down they're tributable right there I got four tributes you know what I mean so I can tribute three since I know this is house Dustin I keep that one since I can use them for XYZ materials and all that other good stuff I can tribute these three to summon obvious so I so I will tribute these three to summon obvious But this could easily be Beast King Barrows, which would destroy all the cards on your points I feel. Now, except for House Dustin, yellow, green, and red do get their effect even if they destroy face down. So then their effects will apply and boom boom boom, they'll do what they do. Plus, you know, your opponent's field is empty. And then you can attack with Beast King Barrows if you want, which will be a 3500 by the seal. But in this combo, we're using Exodia. I mean Obelisk. Alright, now I have all these monsters in the graveyard, which I will now return to the deck. Just, you know, let's me summon Exodios. Now, if I want, while well, all these are face down, I will tribute these two. So now I have the his effect. And Regeki, his whole side, side of the field. So all his monsters are gone now. And then, of course, the Dustins, you know, will get their effects. Except for House Dustin. Which would have been awesome since I put all the Dustins back in the deck. I would have been able to summon more Dustins on the field. But that's not how it works out. <laughs> There's something right there. Plus, Exodius is great for you know recycling your monsters, so that helps and whatnot. That's always good. And then you got an Egyptian god, and that's just a way of you know using that Dustin's as tributes. So maybe you might want to try this out. 
Let me see something. Change all face up monsters on the field to place on the front. <clears throat> What's kind of cool is is the fact that you could um let's say you have all the monsters right, and you play like lightning board text to sort all the monsters at points. I feel all these effects activate. Derpa derpa derpa, right? And is this an optional effect? You can special summon. So that's good. <clears throat> Since it's an optional effect, you don't have to do it. You can just allow all of them to go graveyard and summon no more monsters. Right? Then tribute three monsters you have face, the three dozen you have face down. Summon an obelisk. And attack your opponent with it. You know what I mean? So he'll be wide open for a four thousand direct attack. Or if you got what's his name? No, I think you have to tribute monsters face up, right? Well anyway, you'll you'll figure out ways of of taking advantage of face down Dustin's as tribute for card effects and for you know uh, tribute summons. You can summon light and darkness dragon with this way if you want. You know, crystal, whatever, whatever you want. So this is just you know a explanation of the Goblin King OTK slash Obelisk of Tormentor summoning tip.